Welcome to your daily crypto wrap up. We're give you all today's crypto news in about three minutes. All right, guys, today Bitcoin looking decent, like we could finally be getting the bounce that we're looking for. We've got some very interesting stories, including a very big story about the United States and crypto regulation. Let's go ahead and jump in. So here we are, the market cap. This number here is very important. We are back over two trillion. We're barely hanging on. But $2 trillion needs to be flipped back into support for the overall crypto market. Bitcoin coming in at about $43,693, or exactly. Uh, almost to uh, $43,700. The $43,600, $700 level is really important. We need to get above that. Ethereum over $3,000. XRP at $0.94. Cents. Um, Cardano at two twelve. So let's go ahead and look at the biggest gainers of the day. We have Qtum. VeChain, AMP, OMG, and Luna with all over 8% pumps. VeChain and AMP, two of the bigger holdings that I have. So really excited to see that. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the news because we've got some huge news today. Uh, today on Capitol Hill in a, a House Financial Services Committee meeting, Jerome Powell, the chairman of the Fed, said the United States has no interest in banning crypto. They don't want to do what China has done. I think this is really big news, but I think it also goes to the point that they can't do it. They know they can't do it. China knows that they couldn't really do it, but the Chinese, uh, you know, the Chinese citizens are under a little more control. Uh, some would argue this, but I believe they're under a little bit more control than uh, the United States citizens. Uh, we at least have some kind of semblance of freedom here. Um, and, you know, the thing is, is that um, you know, he continued to attack stable coins as well, as we've been talking about. This is a huge target for the Fed, for the United States government. That's what they really care about. Avalanche! Let's go Avalanche! Avalanche today, an Ethereum competitor, Solana competitor, I'd call it, has now been listed not just on Coinbase Pro, but on regular Coinbase as well. There's a little Avalanche logo. Woo! So Avalanche falling. How about that? Guys, this is big news. I told you Avalanche is gearing up for a run. We know they got the news with the Coinbase Pro listing yesterday morning while we were on the air on the live stream. And then today it's officially gone on Coinbase. It just got a modest bump. It didn't go up significantly. But the Coinbase listings set it up for bigger bumps down the road. Last story of the day, Lil Nas X, Grimes, Elon Musk's former girlfriend, um, she was voted most likely to break up with a muskrat. They have now been included in the TikTok NFT launch. These are going to be moments, kind of like NBA Top Shot, but for TikTok, where big creators like Lil Nas X, Bella Porch, some others, they're going to be paired up with some NFT artists in crypto to launch uh, NFTs of their best viral videos, so like moments from TikTok. So very interesting. TikTok is supposedly not making a dime on this, but I think it's going to go further to push uh, you know, uh, TikTok into the future, which will have a, a good effect on the bottom line. All right, guys, big news day. That's all I got. Let's see Bitcoin go bullish. Be blessed. Good boy out.